Well, we just come out today. I uh, wasn't expecting to do a little video, but I'm just giving an update. We just come out today and um, let the chickens out, made sure they had food and water and collected any eggs. And we are missing a chick. Um, our mama barnyard mix had three baby chicks, um, one barred rock and two yellow um, Orpingtons. And now we are down to one yellow Orpington. So I don't know what happened. We lock them up every night, which is something that if you want to keep predators away, um, making sure they're locked up every night is really important. So um, there's not really a way for anything to get in. So I'm a little bit shocked, but uh, maybe uh, my daughter put them in last night. We always do a count every night is another way of seeing, uh, making sure we have all of our chickens. Perhaps it was missed, that, that happens too. But um, it, this is part of the process, losing some of your birds, some of your chicks. It's just, it's part of having chickens. Um, losing one, two, maybe even up to four chicks a year is common. Um, but we haven't had like, you know, a raid where they all die by an animal and get slaughtered. And I'm thankful for that. But, you know, losing a few chickens is why we always keep a little extra around because it's a possibility. So we're just doing a little search around just to make sure we didn't miss her or this little chick. I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but we're just doing a little search around, making sure that we haven't missed it and it's caught somewhere, but it um, doesn't look good this far. Anyways, I thought I'd give you an update on that. And uh, yeah, so now we're down to four chicks because we still have our two Partridge Chanticleer chicks. But still, it's always sad losing something. Sometimes just looking for signs of a struggle or feathers or blood, um, you'll know if it, I mean, obviously it's not here, so it's taken. Usually a fox will run off with something, but um, I mean, even a crow, um, with a chick that small, a crow could obviously do that as well. When you look into um, predators, it's often an owl or a hawk that would just take the head and leave the body, but I don't see any signs of any kind of struggle anywhere. So, you know, it very well could just have been a fox or even, you know, maybe even a, a cat or something, who knows, because they are quite little, so. So another thing when you own a livestock or have homestead or different animals is really having a neighbor or a friend that you have close by that can look after your animals for you when you go away because that sometimes comes up in emergency or anything like that. So right now we just, like I said, we just let our chickens out and now we are going to go let our neighbor's chickens out. They've only got a, they've got three chickens actually, it's quite small, but they do us favors all the time of watching our animals and we go away. And when they go away, we also go over and look after um, their chickens. So um, I'm just gonna go over and let them out for the day and check on them and see how they're doing. So last night we came to put the chickens in and there was a huge doe right here and it shocked us. It was dark and we just seen this big, huge doe and it ran off into the bush. So that was pretty cool. And they have so many birds here, it's really neat. I just want to show you one thing that I thought was really um, clever and neat that they did here. So this is their garden and they have it fenced in and this here is, I'm standing in their chicken run. And during the growing season, it's all fenced in. But once the growing season's done, they have this little door that they actually um, pull down and they shut. And then when the season's done, they open it and the chickens go in and they kind of fertilize it for um, the seasons that they're not growing anything, which, you know, I think that's pretty cool. Just an idea if someone's looking for 
a way to have chickens in the garden, but not all the time. I think that's really clever. Well, if you enjoyed our little uh, chicken update, we've got other videos for you to check out. We have lots of chicken videos. Watch those videos and let me know what you think. And let me know if you have chickens or are thinking about getting them because you know what? If you have a small piece of property like we do, don't have much room. Chickens are a really great thing to get. And if you have children, children love chickens and you know what? They're a lot of fun for them. It gives a good responsibility and then enjoyment as well as um, you get eggs. So hey, anyways, thanks for watching. We love having you around and we hope you stick around.